Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Tuesday the 7th of July. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. Let's start with talking about the Premier League table. There were three Premier League games earlier tonight. They finished Crystal Palace 2, Chelsea 3, Watford 2, Norwich City 1 and Arsenal 1, Leicester City 1. Tottenham are now 8th in the Premier League after our 1-0 win against Everton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium last night. We have now played 33 games. We have 48 points. We are now two points away from North London rivals Arsenal who are in 7th place. Tottenham are now four points behind sixth place Wolves and we are now seven points away from fifth place Manchester United. Our next game um, is against Bournemouth away in the Premier League this Thursday. Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho was extremely pleased after Tottenham got the three points last night at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, beating Everton 1-0 with that Michael Keane own goal. He said, everybody gave what they could give. We had a very solid performance. We were never in trouble. We were always in control. Mourinho added, it's not a performance of incredible quality, but it's a team performance against a very good team. Club captain Hugo Lloris said after the game, everyone was involved making runs and doing the job. There was a lot of communication on the pitch. A report out today from the Daily Telegraph and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are now looking for a club to take Ryan Sessegnon on loan for the 2020-2021 season. Of course, he has had very limited minutes under manager Maurizio Pochettino and now Jose Mourinho during the 2019-2020 season and he just needs game time. A report out today from the Evening Standard and they are stating that Barcelona have been in touch with Spurs about the possibility of signing midfielder Tangi Ondombele and Ryan Sessegnon from the club in part exchange deals. A report out today from the Sun newspaper and they are stating that Hugo Lloris and Hun Min Son's amazing bust up was filmed by a stunned Amazon camera crew. The report states their on-pitch spat continued down the tunnel and into the dressing room and Amazon Prime, which is filming a behind-the-scenes documentary at the club, captured it all. Spurs skipper Lloris was furious with Son for not tracking back in the first half injury time when Richarlison shot wide. Former Tottenham midfielder Jamie O'Hara was talking on TalkSport earlier today and he says that Tottenham are now boring to watch under Jose Mourinho and openly admitted he misses the Maurizio Pochettino era. O'Hara said there is no excitement in the games anymore and Spurs are so boring to watch. I was a big fan of when Mourinho came in and I was like, right, we're going to win a trophy. It doesn't matter how we do it, let's just win a trophy. But actually, I'm now sitting there thinking I have absolutely lost all excitement of watching Spurs. Former Tottenham and England goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking to the Football Insider and states that he would not swap Tottenham midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso for Manchester United's Bruno Fernandes. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What have you made of Giovanni Lo Celso's performances so far in the 2019-2020 season? Robinson went on to say, Lo Celso has shown a side to his game that not many people, including myself, knew that he had. He is not afraid to do the hard yards and play as a holding midfielder as well as an attacking midfielder. I certainly would not swap him for Bruno Fernandes. Two outstanding players, but Lo Celso has become key to what Spurs do. He settled and adapted to life in the Premier League very easily and very quickly. Robinson added, he looks to be a very astute signing along with Steven Bergwijn. They are the type of signings that Spurs need. They have changed the team. Thanks for watching this short update today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comments section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Come on, you Spurs.